everyone. I am currently packing for a crop that I'm going to tomorrow morning. Today is Thursday. Tomorrow is Friday. Hopefully this video will go up today, Thursday. Um, I had someone ask, requested for me to kind of update my crop packing to see how it's going for me. Um, so in one of my crop videos, I don't know if you remember, same kind of tote as this. It was giant and it was huge. Um, and I had the idea to not use that anymore because it can be so heavy to lift in and out of the car. And well, I kind of forgot about that. And I'm like, well, why am I not using this rolling tote? It holds everything. Well, the last crop I was went to, I took that I went to, I took that rolling tote and I realized immediately why I, it was that I wanted to get away from that. So um, now I'm going to be smart and pack it the way that I was thinking before when I did the video. So I do not want to use the rolling tote. I love the rolling tote. I took it to the doodle bug event. Um, I didn't know what to expect there and it wasn't packed with very much. This stuff that's in here minus a few things, just maybe, no, I didn't even take my lamp. I took maybe that with some minimal supplies and a paper cutter. Um, I took very little stuff to the doodle bug event. They just suggest for you not to, they, you know, they say, bring the basics and really, honestly, I didn't get a lot done there anyway. There was just too many things going on. So that worked out fine to take my rolling tote because it was really light and it was just one bag and not knowing what to expect. I was fine with that one bag, not going, you know what I mean? But so that's why I took it to the next crop is I was like, well, why am I not using this again? I forget because then I put all of this stuff back into the rolling tote and my paper cutter and, you know, a couple other things. And my back hurt for like a few days after the, the crop because of lifting it into my van. So then I'm like, okay, yeah, now, now I remember why I don't want to use the rolling tote. So I am going to pack again. I'm packing, so I thought I would just kind of pack along with you guys to show you what I bring and how I'm taking it. So I think I mentioned, I never showed it. So if anybody needs to see the wagon, you know those foldable wagons that are really popular with a lot of people, not just scrapbookers, but you know, taking your kids to the zoo or going to games. I mean, they're just foldable wagons. They fold up and um, a lot of people are using them. So if you need to know more or want a picture of it, let me know and I can share what it is or maybe a link. I don't know if I could find the one exactly that I have, but um, let me know if that's something you don't know what I'm talking about. But basically, it's a wagon that folds up so you I can unfold it and then I can put all of this stuff in there to take it into the crop. So the crop that I'm going to tomorrow actually has like they call it their bellhop crew and it's um some teenagers who work for tips and things like that to work towards their like senior trip you know and things like that so um, it's kind of cool because that crop's all donated you know other than they like pay the food and yada yada but then the, everything else is donated so so they will actually unload your car there and it's kind of neat to have them do that. They'll take all the stuff to your table and then at the end of the crop, they'll load your stuff from the table. I mean, you load up everything how you want it to, and then they'll take it and put it in your car. So as great as that is, a lot of times I found that it's almost easier for me to park somewhere else and unload into the wagon and kind of go in myself because everybody lines up at the door at once and it gets a little chaotic there and you know, I'm not, the stuff always ends up where it's supposed to be. It's not like that. It's just, I find it easier to take this wagon now and to bring it in that way. Um, and the nice thing is about the wagon, wagon, I can just easily fold it back up and toss it back in my car. I usually think I do. Um, it would sit by your crop table if you really wanted it to, but, um, anyways, let's get to the actual crop packing. So, um, I have this bag by Creative Memories, and I did show this in the other video. Um, you can look on Marketplace. I don't have a link to these because they don't sell them, I don't think, anymore. I'm not a Creative Memories expert, but I do know a lot of times on Creative Memories um, or on web, uh, on Marketplace is what I'm trying to say, they will have Creative Memories stuff on sale. So um, look there if you're looking for this bag. It has two big zipper pockets. So this one's kind of a smaller and then this one's the bigger one. So 
for a few years now, I never used to take my own light and then my friends did. And I took this one because in the back of it, it has a phone charger. And that was my main reason for um, taking this. And so I decided to take it for that. I love having the phone charger right there and available. But um, then I found that I actually really like having the extra light. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, you know, things you adjust differently, but I really enjoy having, and this is the one from Costco with the fan in it. On occasion, I've used the fan. Um, I don't know. I had this on my desk, but I changed my lighting around just a little bit because this was causing a lot of glare on the photos in my videos. Um, so I'm still trying to work with the lighting. It's really hard. Um, I will do a scrap room tour soon and you guys will understand why the lighting is a little bit more difficult for me. But so in there, there's just the cord for the lamp. And then I have this really awesome phone holder and I got this off of Amazon. If you want a link to this one, please let me know. I'm happy to provide a link, but it's metal. Like, I don't, you can't hear, I can't tap on it one-handed. <laughs> I've never used this little headphone thingy cord keeper in the bottom, but you could if you wanted to. But I like that it keeps it up off the table. It's like right towards my face. I even have another one of these on my scrap desk that I keep on my desk. Um, because I can see what people text, you know, or whatever, and I don't even have to pick up my phone. So the angle of it is really nice. I can't show you because I'm using my phone to record right now, but if you would like a link to this, let me know. Um, I have recently changed my enamel dot storage the way I had it, um, not on my desk, but in my crop. I don't have it like I do on my desk. I've shown the video of how I keep it in the little pocket pages on my desk. This is my current way of having it for crops. I'm not sure how crazy I am about these. These you can get at Target pretty much anywhere. Um, Fred Meyer, I'm not really sure. Even Michael's maybe. Um, I have them in here and I just have a few like all whites, browns and yada are in that one. Yellows, reds and oranges, blues and greens, pinks and purples in here. And I have more, more pinks and purples than anything because I don't use them as much. So that is why they each have their own. But this is currently what I have and I like it because I can just kind of drop it in the bag. So my goal was, and let me bring this over for a second. I'm gonna push a couple things out of the way. So forgive me for a second. Oh, I'm also going to take my little um, photo stand thingy for instructions. So my plan is, and I will show you that in a few minutes as well, I want to take a bunch of all my um, scrapbook generation kits and take them, find pictures to go with them, take them and get as many of them done as I can. So I have this as well, and I also showed this in the past video where I talked about my crop storage. Um, let me open it. So I'm on the fence about this. I love this. Number one, there's all kinds of different crop bags out there, but I've had things fall out of ones with pockets. So I love this because it all zips up. I love it because this folds back and it can even tuck under. This is also Creative Memories. This was made for their border punch cartridge thingy, I think, but I made it work for me as just a crop bag because I liked, like I said, how it can zip up because I have had things fall out. Luckily I've caught them, but once they started falling out, I never felt comfortable with those little crop bags with the handles and things like that. So my thoughts on this are changing because I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I take in here. Sorry, I'm sitting on the ground. I have to get comfortable here. I feel like there's a lot of stuff that I take in here that I don't really use and that this just kind of becomes a catch-all during the crop. I mean, you can kind of see, I don't think I've even cleaned it since the last one. I might have actually taken out a few things. Um, so I don't know. I'm kind of, I've been kind of thinking of how I could change. There was one, my friend has one that she got at um, Hobby Lobby and it was this like cube. So it was like only a small section of it and it zipped up on the top. It did have a few pockets on the outside, but I really wanted one of those. Um, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby to see what design they have. Um, I asked on one of the Facebook groups and somebody showed me one they have now, I think online and it's really, it's an awful pattern. <laughs> 
I'm not sure. I want to go to Hobby Lobby and see if they have one there to see how awful it is. I'm trying to think of, you know, it's just a crop bag and it doesn't really matter how awful it is. And if it functions well, I should focus on that. But I, like I said, I haven't been to Hobby Lobby. The closest Hobby Lobby to me is about a 45 minute drive away. Um, so they are actually building one however closer to me which i'm really excited about so but i have no idea when that will open so until i get to hobby lobby this is what i'm using but i feel like the smaller one would be better so hang on one second okay i had to grab these to explain so i have these and i bought these purposely for my crop bag as well these were like 30 cents on clearance at hobby lobby as well um you can, I got them in spring and it was like, I didn't get them in spring. I got them after spring. So it was when everything was cheaper. Does that make sense? So you can see they're only 99 cents originally. So I got three of them and I actually want more because what I found is I've taken these out and now the last crop I was at, I completely forgot about these because they were on my desk. So I didn't have, um, I didn't have little things. I'd like to have these little things sitting on my desk. Um, and the reason this has become less of something I want to take is because when I am scrapbooking at a crop, I have found I don't put, like here's my glue dots. Um, I don't take the big glue dot dispensers with me because they're just big and bulky and this it works just as fine. So I found that I end up keeping, when I'm using my glue dots and scrapbooking, I just throw I ended up throwing them in one of these buckets and that's where they would go back and forth, back and forth, you know, as I would use them and then I'd toss them back. Me putting them back in there was so unlikely. Like I would almost rather have that on the, not rather, but it's like I would end up putting that on the desk and then papers would get covered on it and then I'd go searching for it. So I started putting them in that and it worked out better because I don't know what it is, even though I usually take my own chair so that I have a an extra chair to put this on beside me. And there's things in here that I like, but, um, but like I said, even, and then I noticed my scrappy tape, the same thing. So I started keeping like my scrappy tape and my glue dots in one of these little buckets and the last crop, I even put it right into the bag, not the, the last crop that I had this at. Um, so I would actually rather have the glue dots in this rather than in here. So that leaves this whole empty space. This was stuff I found on the free table. So I like having these, but I'm realizing that I'm not using them very much. And so it seems pointless to me to take them to crops to only use you know, one, maybe one a crop. And um, what I might do is as I'm getting my kits together, if I think any of these would match, I like these. I'm not gonna get rid of them because I do like them. Um, and like I said, they were on the free table and most of these are like not even touched um, or opened. You can see there's a bunch that aren't even opened. So what I usually take is I have I have a little Ziploc bag with some of my crochet twine and that's what I use the most of. I don't know where it is currently, but, um, so, so there's that. And then, so take this out and then here's this empty pocket. I keep the alcohol wipes for my scissors to clean in case they get bad. Then the other thing I was also noticing and not necessarily in this bucket, but I had another bucket that's where these would end up. And I, like at the beginning of every crop, I just go ahead and take those out and I put them right in there or underneath my desk. I have like a little metal shelf that folds out or somewhere. I put these somewhere because I use those almost constantly throughout the crop. So there's another space where there's nothing. So then let's take a look at what else. Again, I don't use these. My spray inks, so this little one is my favorite. I've talked about it before. I might use this one, but none of this other stuff do I really, I mean, on occasion I have, and I might, I'm more likely to use that stuff when I'm at scrapbooking at home. Sorry for the shaky camera. So there's that. So this is really stuff I don't need. This is stuff I don't need. This is empty now. This is empty now. I do like this. My friend made this for the last crop. She's the one, Terry, that puts on the crops that I go to. So she always makes little neat stuff. And I like this little book, little books like this. You can see I had the other one. Um, just in case I want to jot a few notes down, like add, you know, 
add a pink border strip when I get home. If I don't have a pink border strip, then I'll put a little note with, um, with that. So those things are, oh yeah, I would take. I don't mind having the tissues, although I hardly use them. Um, I do like to have a roll of washi tape just to use as regular tape. Um, I have extras in here this time just because my friend gave a couple away the last crop and I thought, oh, I'll take them. I'll just use them as, you know, other tape. But there's a couple things in here like um, this corner round of crunch. I definitely want to have that. This one is for my crop bag so it always stays and my date stamps and my little distressor this is all stuff that you know I like to have at a crop um I'm finding that I don't ever really stamp much so I only have one block in there um I could probably get away with not even taking the block because I'm sure people share um I know my friends stamp a lot so I'm sure I could find a block if I needed one so this is this is a list that I used to make of things I didn't want to forget. Um, always white cardstock, a layout holder for my finished layouts, a paper bag um, for recycling or garbage, a, my T-square ruler, my phone holder, which I now have one for my crop bag, my alphabet dies in a coffee cup. But you can see this is all stuff. Okay, so this is adhesive. Um, again, I rarely use this at crops. I rarely use it anyway, just because it's a little more expensive, but I do like it for smaller things and, and so on. But here's scrappy tape and foam tape. So this is a, yeah. Then come to this. Um, I do like having, whoa, I didn't know that my was wood veneer. <laughs> I think I recently filled this up so that I would get some of my wood veneer used up. I mean, look at that. That's ridiculous. That's, you know, that's just what I have in my crop bag. So I don't need that. Oh, here's my little bag of the crochet twine. So I wouldn't even need all those twines. If I needed a twine, I could use white. And if I white wasn't good enough for me, I could make a note to do it at home. I did recently add some of my little confetti pieces. And I have a couple more because I rearranged my desk. Um, some gems and stuff that I want to figure out how to take. And these are sequins. This is sequins and this is buttons and so forth, which I don't know why I have a bag of buttons and this of buttons. I could put, I think what I'll do is I will put this stuff into this spice holder. Um, I got these at my Winco, the grocery store, a long, long time ago. I don't know what's on top of there. Um, I love these things and they don't have them. I found them in, with red lids, but I didn't want the red lids. So, so these things, yes. Okay. So this is a yes. This is a yes. This stuff basically. So like the right half of the bag is maybe a yes. The left half is, I could totally live without. So this is why I'm struggling as much as I love this bag. It seems like a waste I don't know, kind of a waste of space or waste of carrying things. I don't know. I will look as I'm packing and see what maybe it is that I could add. I might fill this up. Maybe what I'll do is I'll take like these out and fill them up with more adhesives. I don't know. Let me play around with this for a few minutes and I will come back and show you what I thought. But I really, I think one of those little square things like from Hobby Lobby, whatever. I don't know what it is, what it's called. Um, I know hers was white and it's really cute, but um, I think that would be the perfect size because this stuff could easily go in there and I wouldn't need, I wouldn't have all this extra stuff. Plus it would be less space, you know, by my table, but I might just have to go to Hobby Lobby, but the crops tomorrow and I don't have time to stop. Ooh, I wonder if I could stop on the way. I could, but it, I don't think it opens in time. But anyways, I'm gonna work with this and I will come back. Okay, I was wrong. Um, this part isn't really done. I forgot. Number one, I finally broke down and bought a new ATG gun. So here's to hoping it will work. I'm going to keep it in my crop bag for now, but that's just because the other one I can use after I'm done packing. So this just has a couple little side pockets. Again, it just seems like there's a lot of space in here that could be used up. I could even put this trimmer in there. Um, I do have these stamps. These are just a bunch of random ones that I have in this little thing. I hardly ever use them and I've even thought about just giving them away. I don't know. Um, I'm learning as I become more of a seasoned sc scrapper that I'm just not a big stamper. I would love to be. I think it looks awesome. I just don't do it and I don't know. I think I'm just too lazy to do it. I try not to be. Um, 
So I don't really know. I, I don't know. So that's staying in there for now though. This over here in this pocket is usually where I put, although I'm getting more, my alphabet dies. And I will talk about how I store my dies um, soon. That is a video that I have planning to come up. Um, but I do like to take my alphabet dies to go with that little, uh, what do you call that, die cutter that was in there. And I think the little plastic thing to use it with is in here as well. I can't find it at the moment, so I won't worry about it. But those are in there. That way, I don't have to take any alphabets. I don't worry about taking. I might, if I know what page I'm doing or if I'm working with a certain kit that I know I have a perfect alphabet to go with it, I might grab a few alphabets. But instead of taking, you know, there's my alphabets. I'll just quick show you, and then I'll talk more about them later in another video. But instead of taking, you know, a stack or two this big and not really having any way to carry them, I just decided these, these are heavy, but they're smaller and I'll talk more about it. So then I have this. So this is my cutter that is for my crop. Again, this was the orange before they became black. No big deal. I like both of them. They seem to work both as well. Then I've talked about these in my other crop video. These are by Totally Tiffany. Um, I can probably provide links to these if you would like, let me know. Um, these can go on your shelves. So like your calyx shelves, I believe these were made to fit in them. So you can just pull them. This one stays in here um, because, well, where I live, it rains a lot. So I like that it's protected. It keeps my white cardstock nice and um, protected in here. So I may or may not add a little bit of white cardstock. I do have some eight and a half by 11 in case I want to cut down for anything. And I have a small amount of cardstock in here. I don't hardly ever, but if I want to back a layout and I have it, I might back a layout. I think I could probably be fine without this because I'll just, again, write a note, back the layout with purple or something when you get home. And sometimes I'll take like 10 or 15 minutes, not the day I get home, but a few days after and kind of finish, add the little touches, you know, like Nouveau drops. I don't take those with me because I don't like waiting for them to dry. So, um... Things like that, though, I might bring them home, add the Nouveau drop, set it aside to dry. So, I mean, it doesn't bother me. So, what I will, I will, I will also add more in here. I could add my paper cutter if I wanted in here. Um, but kits that I take can easily go in there. And I will fill up the rest. I might even take this out and fill up the rest of this with kits. I will come back and let you know once I have decided. Or I could just take this stuff out and do it separately. But then I have this little folding, folding footstool. I love that. And then one of these folding shelves. These are pretty handy to have, but I'm going to not take this this time and see how I like it without it. Because I find that this, so this trimmer is the one I, I try to typically put on there. And it's kind of curved. You can see it's not straight and it falls off all the time. So I'm just not gonna take the shelf for now and we will see. So next I'm gonna show you what it is I'm gonna take to work on. Okay, so here is the box of stuff that I plan to work on. Um, I'm not sure if I will take everything in here. However, I'm gonna take a lot of it. So these are a lot of my scrapbook generation kits. Oops, there's some stuff in there. Oh, and a few more little gym things to go in the little bag. Um, first of all, I'm going to swing you around. I decided to move my white cardstock and my T-square ruler into here. And I'm not going to take that box. I'm not going to take the cardstock. I'm going to see how it goes. And like I said, if I want to mat something with on a colored cardstock, I will just put a note on the paper and say matte on a cardstock, matte on purple when I get home. So I have my cutter here and that bag, no big deal. So then that bag, it is a little heavy, um, not as heavy as my big black rolling tote. So I will add these in here. Here's some of the stuff that I'm just not gonna take to crops anymore. So back to this, um, starting in the back, is a bunch of kits. I have some kits from Scrapbook Generation that I don't like, and it's very hard for me. <laughs> I love their stuff, but I just, their kit, they're using products that aren't my style. Um, for example, let me find one. I think I'm just, I don't even know what to say. I'm trying to be better about 
buying and buying stuff that I like and not just buying like this. You can see the colors. There's like a B. I don't know what this is. It's not awful. It's just not me. I mean, you guys know I'm like doodle bug type fan. So this is just different for me. But what I've decided is I put, I believe this is, this is not all of them. I have a few more that are with collections. So like there's a, uh, this is a kit by them. And um, I also bought this collection. So I have it all together and maybe I'll do more than just that. Um, trying to see if there's something else like same thing here this is a kit from them but I also had some of the collection so I just put them together in one that way when I'm making the kit if I want to add something then I can add something so my thought was maybe putting these layouts together and if I really don't like them I can donate them or because sometimes you know seeing it on a piece of paper, a white piece of paper is a little bit different than the way it looks like when it's finished. So I'm going to take a couple. I'm going to try them. If I hate them, then I won't add anything. I won't worry about it. And I'll just donate them. After that, there are some in here with pictures. Like I have pictures in with this one. So I think to about maybe here, it has the pictures back here has pictures to go with them or like the ones that I'm not really sure of and I just want to put together to see if I even want to add pictures and then these are ones that have just been sitting there either I'm not that crazy about them or I just haven't taken the time to get the pictures so what I'm going to do now um, and I'm not going to show this process um, it's the same thing as doing you know adding photos to layouts that don't have photos yet um, I'm just going to make sure that this is stuff that I'm going to want to work on while I'm there because I don't want to get there and be bored. But I like that these have the cutting guides and stuff in case I get tired. And it's easier to talk to people if you're not trying to use your brain to think, you know. <laughs> so I can get done a lot more at crops doing this type of thing than I can just doing my own stuff. So I'm going to find pictures if I can to go with these. If I can't, I'll decide either I'm going to take them or and finish them or I'm going to just put them aside because it doesn't look like something I want to work on at all um, but I will probably take about this amount because it's from 9 a.m. Friday morning till 6 a.m. no excuse me 6 p.m. Saturday so and you can work the whole time if you want to sleep you can sleep and if not then not and I usually sleep about four hours in between at some point but the rest of the time I'm working, um, which is another reason that these kits are really good for me because the next day when I'm tired and my brain's not working, I can just cut to what it says. Um, so this is what I'm going to take. So I have this, I have that bag, and then I have these two items here. Um, again, that will go in that little bag there. Uh, and I think that's about it as far as my scrapbooking stuff. I do have a box here of stuff I'm going to give away, stuff I've had forever, I'm just done with. Um, so I think if you guys have any questions, please let me know. This I know works for me. I have done the, the kits in a box like this before. Never as many scrapbook generation kits at one time. But the last crop that I went to where I took a bunch of kits, I noticed I got a ton of stuff done. Um, and like I said, because like I said, you don't really have to concentrate too hard on them. So it really works for me to do this. So, and I like these boxes. These came from a store. I wanna say it was called Storables. They don't have it in my area anymore, and this was like 10 years ago. So whether or not they would still have these, there's no name on them, I don't believe. Patent item, whatever, if that helps anything, if anybody's interested. Um, oh, a couple things are falling down there. I'll figure, I'll get those out. Um, I bought those as just little gifts, but I don't want them to know yet. <laughs> Oh, but these are the snowflakes that I use, the confetti, at, and they're at, they're at Target right now, and they're just in the dollar spot, but these are just what I use on my layouts. Um, they work perfectly in shaker cards, so they're really pretty, you can see. Um, I just picked up a couple. So anyways, if you have any questions, let me know. If you want to see more, if there's something I skipped over and forgot to explain, let me know. Again, I, like I said, I'm not going to show you the photo picking out process. I'm just going to look at the layout 
and go to my photo albums, which I had another request to show my photo albums. Um, and when I say photo albums, I mean the albums where I hold my photos until they're scrapbooked. So um, I will show those again soon. So, all right, I will talk to you guys later. Wish me luck. I hope I get a lot done. And I hope this was somewhat helpful, at least, to maybe kind of help you guys pack for a crop as well. All right, bye. Okay, so here is the aftermath from the crop. Um, I think I did pretty good. In that purple box is where I keep my finished layouts and stuff, and I will go through those in another video and show you, but um, this is kind of where we all just throw it all in my room, and it actually doesn't look as bad as I thought, but I didn't get the other videos up last Thursday because my computer was being so very slow and it was just wasn't gonna happen. Um, so I thought I would just kind of give you, oh no, my little letter stickers are all bent up. I just noticed that. So I need a better way to store these, I guess. Okay. They're not so bad. Um, I did decide, I think because I love these so much and I ended up using them a couple times and I have a few packs. Sorry for the crinkling. Just wanted to fix that bee. Um, I will have a link below to these if I can find them, but, um, I have like four packs of these that I bought because I love them so much and I use them a few times. So I think I'm going to keep one of these in my crop bag. Uh, I didn't end up using my alphabet dies. Um, this was my box that was full. I currently, and you can see I've actually um, used quite a, or it was completely full and now there's some space. Uh, just a couple things in the front, but now there's some space. I didn't get maybe as much done, but I think I'm happy with, I haven't counted what I've gotten done or what I finished at the crop, but I think I'm okay with what I did finish. So um, these are still a bunch more kits. I got a little bit tired of doing kits a part of the way through. So I decided to go ahead and do, I, um, well, I will show you. I've done, I used, a, well, here it is, this paper pack, the Dragon Tales with the birthday that I used for one of my monthly celebrations. I just went ahead and took what was left over from that and I did a couple pages with that and I love how they turned out. So uh, when I was tired of the kits, I did that. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got finished. So um, you guys will see me work on some of these in the future. And let's move over here. So this is my trimmer that I have that just is for my crops. So I am going to talk about this though. This is the one thing I've mainly wanted to talk about. Sorry for all the moving and all the noise. So I had mentioned that I wasn't sure if I was going to go get a different bag from Hobby Lobby or anything like that. I decided, look, it actually looks clean after the crop. <laughs> That's amazing. The only thing I didn't have, where did that go? <clears throat> this. I want this to go in here as well. Um, I don't remember how I didn't have this in there, but long story short, I didn't have another top, so I couldn't open divide them. So um, it's just going in here. This is just a little hand sanitizer thing that the crop gives. You know, they give a little crop bag. You might have seen. Um, this is this is where I go. It's called Scrapper on the Clock. Um, my favorite, probably one of my favorite crops out there because they're just wonderful people and they really treat you pretty well. So um, this was just one of the goodies that was in there, a few other little things. But I had this open just like this next to me. You can see it stayed fairly clean. I just need to get this so it's smaller so I can zip up the bag. But I really actually liked having this by me and I kept it clean the whole time. It wasn't easy. I just put things back. I did take these out, like I had mentioned, and kept them in the bowl. But then right when I was done, I just put them right there and it kind of kept everything clean. You can see I used a couple rolls of, I used, I guess, three rolls. One, two, three. So I'm on the third roll of ATG. Um, that would be already in here. And I used to have two of these. For one for my crop bag and one, you know, for my desk at home. But you guys know I've mentioned, I don't know what happened to them. Um, well, one of them, this part here, would not stay closed. I don't know what. So anyways, long story short, I bought a new one. Um, so, and then I had these here. I did keep a couple of these up on my desk as well with the glue dots. But 
it worked out and I liked having the adhesive right here. So when I ran out, I just reached over, I grabbed another roll, put it in my gun. Same thing here. When I was using black, I just used black. When I was using brown, I just flipped around and um, my date stamps are right here. So I think I'm going to stick with this bag. I, I mentioned that I thought it was a little bit of a waste of space because of like this area here. But, you know, I ended up actually even using my corner rounder this time and um, one of my friends needed a tissue for something. So really, I and I used a few different papers, so I was fine. I, I am going to leave it like this and I'm totally OK with that. Um, I think the other one might have been just a little too small and I wouldn't have liked it. So that is that. Again, I'm going to get something for this, though, so it's a little smaller so it will fit in there with the rest. Then I think that's really all there is to say. I'm trying to move things. Sorry for all the noise. Um, that worked out well. I didn't, um, I love having this one now that you guys know I got a new one for my desk. I take that one that was on my desk. I love having that there. That just kind of helps keep, uh, like they had, um, you know, like the tablecloths you can get at the dollar store. They always make it really pretty. I was going to take a video when I was there, but... I, they were playing a movie and it was loud and I just, I didn't. So um, maybe next time I will, but, and then this bag I think is pretty much, I think I need to clean out one side of it a little bit, but it's pretty much the way it was. Um, you can see this thing's tilted a little bit. It doesn't spill. Um, everything's in there. I will take this trimmer out because I use that. I might use these on my desk for a while, but I did that one time. I will get more of these so I can have some in my bag because I love having these for just little things. I even actually used it this one of these this time as a little garbage because um, I was doing some fussy cutting. If you know Scrapbook Generations kits, they used to do a lot of fussy cutting with them. And so all the little pieces I was putting in here instead of always having to put them down into the garbage. So... Um, but what I found was when I had these one time out on my desk, I forgot to put them in here to take to the crops and then I didn't have any at the crop I went to. Not this time, but the time before. So, um, I think I will go ahead and, and like I said in the first part of the video, I think they were only like 30 cents or 60 cents. So then this is the part that might need to be cleaned out a little. Actually, I don't think it's too bad. I did take my peel off stickers. Um, and there's a couple other things. My friend got some glue sticks from somewhere. Sorry if that's not focused very well. Um, my white cardstock made it in here. I wasn't too happy with having the white cardstock in here. It was a little harder to get out, but I can work with that. So really, it kind of stayed fairly neat. I didn't rush to clean up. I started cleaning up a little bit earlier than I normally would, um, just because I was at the end of a layout. And... I wouldn't have had time to start another one. And like I said, this is, I, I like to take this bin and this is what I finished. Not all of it. There is some extra paper in there, which I will, um, there's a free table. So there was some stuff on the free table that I took and I just put in here. This is just kind of all stuff. I put everything in here. Um, uh, for example, if I did the scrapbook generation kit and they have the photo and the, the sketch with it, I will put them in here as well. And this is kind of all stuff that I know I need to put away at the end. But I will go through the layouts. You can see kind of part of one there. Um, but yeah, um, I wish I could tell you guys the number I finished of layouts. But I will do that in another video. So I just wanted to mainly touch base on this one and let you guys know. I think I'm going to stick with this bag and I really like it. I really like all this stuff right here fit into the little wagon. Just great. So um, it worked a lot better than that big heavy rolling totes. So um, I'm quite happy with this layout. If there's any more questions or anything in particular you want to see or know about or anything like that, please let me know. And otherwise, I'll see you guys with my next layout video. Okay, bye.